If you like to run membership sites or courses, very advanced courses and membership sites on your own hosting, then I got something very cool for you today, which is called Course Funnels, that allows you to install this software on your own hosting so that you can manage it yourself uh, instead of having to depend on other hosting parties. Now, if this sounds interesting to you, and if you want to see a full do uh, demo, then stay tuned. I'm going to show you everything about this product in a second. Hey there, this is Tim Verdown. Thank you so much for checking out my Course Funnels review. Now, today I'm going to give a full demo of this product and there are so many options that I probably uh, will not be able to show you everything, but I think I can give you a good overview of what you can expect with this platform. Now, like I said uh, at the intro, that this software you can install this software on your own hosting and it works really simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an, an image. This is an image that I took of the installation on how easy it works uh, because they've built course funnels this way that you can uh, give up your cPanel login details and then simply click on that blue button, login to cPanel, and then you can install uh, course funnels on your own domain. It will install itself. So there are no technical issues. You can simply install this by giving the login details of your cPanel. Now, let me show you how this works. But before I do so, I want to mention that there is a link in the description of this video. Uh, when you click on that link, you will find all the information that you're going to need uh, to learn more about this product. So make sure you check out that link. All right, let me show you how course funnels work. So right now I'm logged in, as you can see here, there are some statistics here, how many courses are included, uh, how many sales I've made inside of uh, this, this, this dashboard, uh, the amount of students, the comments that are here, the total amount of watch time. Um, this is just an overview. Now within course funnels, you will be able to create complete courses that will look like this. So when you're logged in as a actual user, a member, a student, this is what you will see. So this is a course. And as you can see here, there's a, an about section here. There are links, there is about this course, a description, and you can go over this course. So when you click on lesson one, it Three. will simply start by showing you lesson one. And as you can see here, you got all different kinds of modules uh, that you can go over as a student. So you simply click on the lesson and then as a student, you can go over these lessons. You can click on next here to go to the next lesson, etc. And that is what you can create within course funnels. Now, another thing that you can create with course funnels are the funnels itself. So you can create your complete landing pages, membership pages, checkout pages, opt-in pages, etc. Everything is included uh, and you can configure and design it yourself. So I think the best thing to do is just go over each element here at the left side. As you can see here, we got the course content, the course funnels, the students media, everything in, inside here. Let's go over this quickly so that you have a good idea of what this is. So let's go to the course content. And as you can see here, there are already a lot of courses in this account, uh, but it works really simple. You click on create new here at the bottom that's behind me, and then you can start creating your new course. So now it's loading and you can give this course a title. So let's say this is English, uh, English for dummies. That's what this course is all about. You give this course an ID, you give this course a description, a category, so you can choose from these categories, education, in this case, a beginner, intermediate, expert of all, let's say this is for newbies, so this is a beginner. And you can also allow downloading a certificate uh, when the course has been completed, so you can say yes or no. Now. Then you also have the pricing in here. So you can say this is a paid course or a free course. Uh, if it is a paid course, you can set up the price in here. You can set the dollars in here uh, and you can connect your payment systems in another part here at the left side. Then there's also drip feeding. Now drip feeding means if you put this to drip feeding and you say, I want to have an interval of one days, that means that every section here, uh, let's say you start with drip feeding one, this section will be opened on the first day when they purchase or log into your course. And then this section two, 
till six are locked. So tomorrow the second section will be unlocked and then the day after the third section. That can be managed in here as well. That's called drip feeding. Also, the pages in here, you define the pages where your course uh, is, is registered. So that will be here in your course funnels. There's also a full tutorial playlist where you can see how to set this up. Then you also got your demo content where you can fill out some details about this course. Different themes that you can choose from. So there are two themes. Let me zoom in. So this is the first theme. Personally, I like this theme better because it's it's... Yeah, it's, it has a better overview in my opinion. Uh, and then simply, once you're done, you can go to the settings in here. Um, yeah, where there, there's not much information here. Do you want the default had a menu, yes or no? And then you can save your changes. So I forgot to fill out the basic details. So what I'm gonna do, I simply go open another one that's already in here uh, so that you can see how it works. So I'm now editing the course. So once you have created the course, you can click here on manage course content. Now in here, you can define all these modules that you're seeing in here. These, is, these are called modules or sections. And within the sections, you have different lessons. And that is what you do in here. So here you see section one, two, three, four, five. And you see here one, two, three, four, five, in this case, six. You can define that in here. Now, when you are going to a section, when you open this section, you can see here within the section, you see those lessons and those are the lessons that you see in here and you can edit them in here. So when I go open this first lecture, you can see I can change the title and the description and I can also uh, update the lecture as well. So when I open this, I can change the content in here. Now, in this case, the content is a YouTube video. Now, if you want to add another section, let's say, so that you can see how it works. So you click on the on the plus sign here and you say, this is section seven, for example. You can say add section. And within this section in here, you can open this. And now you can add those lessons here in this session. Now that works like this. So when I click on the plus here, you have a few options. So you can choose from, let me zoom in, you can see that. You can choose from a lecture, a quiz, an assignment, and a test. So that's what the lessons are all about. So when I click on lecture in here, uh, this is what the lecture is all about. So here comes your description and then your uh, or title. And here comes your description. You can say at lecture. And then within this lecture, you can add your content. So in this case, you can say, for example, I want to add a document, an article, a YouTube video, a Vimeo video, a video which is self-hosted so you can also do self-hosted videos or an image so in this case i'm going to do a youtube video for example i'm going to grab a youtube video so copy this link address from one of my videos uh, i'm simply going to paste it in here i can also uh, mention the video length in minutes hours and seconds and then i'm going to save this um this lesson you can see here, this is a lesson and this is what you will see as a lesson where you can also add resources. So you can say, I wanna add a downloadable resource, a viewable resource or a link that's also possible. And you can also go to the student action so you can disable comments or disable likes or show the comments after approval for each specific lesson. So when they're in a lesson here, they can also reply to this lesson or not just the way you define this. Now this is, is one thing that you can do. Another thing that you can do is you can add a quiz. So let's say I wanna add a quiz that they need to fill out. Then I click on add quiz. And when I click on edit here, it will open this quiz here where you can give this a title. You can also give a duration in minutes, the time that they have here. When you zoom in here, you can see that you can give up a duration how many time they get in minutes to finish this quiz, or you can put this to minus one uh, so that they have unlimited time. And you can also allow downloading the certificate after completion if you'd like to do that. Uh, and then in here, you can fill out the questions. So you can select these type of questions, only one answer to choose or multiple answers. So when you do only one answer, you type your question in here and you say answer A or B, and then you can select the correct answer, uh, which is the correct answer. So 
This is how you create an answer or, or a quiz lesson uh, inside of one of your sections. So this overview could also be a quiz. Then the next thing that you can do here is you can also add an assignment. So let's call this assignment and click on add. And then I can also edit this assignment in here. And again, also a duration and description in here. And then I can add the questions in here for this specific assignment. Uh, you can add instructions in here, instruction video, resources, solutions. You can add that in here. Uh, and again, the settings, you can enable or disable comments, likes, uh, comments after approval. And then in here, um, you can also set the result comments. So zero to 39%, you must study harder, uh, 40 to 59%. Good job. Try to do better next time. Well, you get the ID, right? You can fill that out on the back end. So it's a really advanced platform to build out your courses. And then I think we already had it. You can also add a test. So let's call this test and then click on add, and then click on edit this test. Let me open it in a new tab. And then again, you can add these questions in here. Uh, a question, enter answer, instruction settings, etc. So that's how you build out your complete uh, course with sections and lessons within those sections. Now this is all about building out your courses. And as you can see here, you can build all of these courses and you can connect them to your funnels. Now funnels is the second thing here at the left menu, as you can see here, course funnels. When I click on course funnels, you can create your new funnel. Now let me simply open a, a funnel in here so you can see how it works. And in here, you see all those pages. Now, as you can see here, when I zoom in, you see this blinking here. This means that I'm now editing the landing page uh, that you see here at the right side. But you can also have the order page, the payment confirmation page, the payment failure, the registration page, the login page, membership page, the course page, a forgot password page. All these pages can be edited. So when I click on edit existing page in here, I can edit this page and yeah, add my own uh, content in here uh, yeah, for this specific course. So this is a, a, a funnel builder to say so, where you can build your funnel for your courses. And everything is hosted on your web hosting. So in here, you can simply select these details. You can change it in here. You can change the style, uh, advanced stuff in here. Oh, it's not advanced for the fonts, but you get the idea. I don't have to explain how a page builder works, but you can see that in here. Um, I cannot say that this is the, the most easy page builder to work with, uh, but you can duplicate things in here, as you can see, if you like to duplicate things. Um, yeah, you can simply build out your pages with this page build. Now, the same is for the order page. If you want to change it, simply click on edit the order page. And then in here, you can change these icons or these product images, uh, change the background, the colors, etc., so that it will match to your company or to your product. So that's what the course funnels are all about. And within the course funnels, you got all different kinds of settings like use A-B testing, display GDPR, cookie notice, uh, create page cache, a lot of options in here. You can select the list that people need to be added towards when they sign up for this specific course, uh, autoresponders, integrations, payment systems that can be connected to this funnel, uh, the courses that you can select that need to be added to this funnel, a lot of things possible in here. Then we'll get the overview with the students where you can see all the students in here, the media where you can see all the media that has been uploaded to your account, the analytics. So you can select a funnel that you want to see uh, and then all the information about that funnel will be displayed in here. So you can see the total visit, the total conversions, the operating systems, the browsers that your users are using, the locations uh, where people are coming from, as you can see in here. And then the last thing in the first module here at the left side are the uh, certificate certificates. Uh, and as you can see here, you can manage these certificates. You can, uh, yeah, type your own completion text in here that the students will get. Their name will be added automatically to this uh, certification and the course title. 
Uh, and as you can see here, you can do A4 or other document styles, landscape or portrait, uh, and different styles in here. Or you can upload your own media if you'd like to. So for completion, also for exams, you can um, yeah change that in here, the, those certificates. So this is the fourth module here at the left side of course funnels. Now, the second thing is communication. Now, in here, uh, you can also manage all the comments that are coming in from your courses. As you can see here, uh, you can approve or delete or mark as unread or reply to those uh, comments. Reviews for people that are reviewing your courses. As you can see here, you can approve them, delete them. Uh, there is assignments. You can go over all assignments that have been filled out during these courses. You can simply click on these assignments. You can check these assignments. You can see everything that I filled out per student, uh, as you can see in here. Um, you got your test. You can go over each and every test that people have filled out or students have filled out. Uh, quizzes, the same thing. You can go over these quizzes and also the notes in here. So... That's the part about the communication. Then the next part is the sales part where you can enter your payment details or payment methods. So to connect course funnels with a payment method, you simply click on create new here, and then you can connect all these payment methods to course funnels. So PayPal, Stripe, uh, Instamojo, uh, as you can see here, Razorpay, uh, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, Pay.com, Pay Kickstart, ThriveCard, ClickBank, everything can be connected to course funnels so that people can pay for your courses. And then in here in sales, you can see the sales that have been created inside of your dashboard. Then there's also email marketing here at the left side uh, where you can create your list. So when I click on list, you can see the list that you have created within your uh, course funnels account. You can compose mails, so you can send out mails also, uh, but you need to fill out your SMTP details. There are sequences that you can mail out. So when somebody joins a specific course, a specific list, you can say, okay, I want to send out an email uh, after one day, two days, three days, four days. Um, you can define it everything in here and then these emails will be uh, sent every single day as a drip feed. Mailing history, you can see all the emails that are being sent in here uh, and SMTPs where you can set up the SMTPs inside of your account that you can use to email uh, those emails. Then there are bunch of integrations. Like I said, this is a full full review where I cannot even show you everything, uh, but I think you get a good idea of how many integrations and how much is included inside of this product. Integrations, when you click on integrations, you can simply click on add new, and then you can add these integrations like talk to Facebook Messenger, Skype, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixels, or add a new integration in here. Zapier integration is also included inside of uh, your account. Autoresponders that can be connected. So when you create a new, you can connect these autoresponders, pursue app, active campaign, constant contact, get response, HubSpot. Well, you can see them yourself and simply scrolling over this. These are all the supported uh, autoresponders as well. And then there are also plugins that you can connect uh, that you simply can enable or disable. I'm not sure what this is, but you can enable and disable these plugins as well. There's also uh, Course Funnels Proof, which means these proof buttons, these are very hot. When I click Create New, then you probably uh, see what I mean. So these things you see on this website, uh, on websites all the time. John Doe has purchased a book. You can say John Doe has just purchased this new course or this new training. Uh, and you can set that up in here as well. And you can select the funnel where this needs to be added to. You can say the delay time between each notification, the display time. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of customization in here about colors, etc. And then there are a bunch of uh, settings of your account, GDPR settings, user settings, etc. That can be handled inside here. The sales setting, membership settings, four or four pages, etc. Well, as you can see, a, a full blown platform with a lot of information. Um, yeah, that you that you get. Uh, one thing I forgot. Let me also mention that in here in this video is the pricing of 
uh, course funnel starts with 47 to 67 dollars for the elite version uh, then you got the pro version as well for 97 dollars um, you know i'm going to put a link in the video description here when you click that link uh, it will give all this information what's included inside of these funnels uh, plus every information that you need so make sure to check out that link um, and yeah i think i've given you a uh, a full demo this way so that you can make a a, um, a wise decision if this is something that you can use for your business or not. And again, this will be hosted on your own hosting, um, yeah, by simply adding your cPanel details. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that notification bell if you wanna stay updated with my latest reviews and also, I would appreciate it if you give this video a like, uh, yeah, so that it will be boosted in YouTube as well. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, of course, hope to see you in my next review. Check out the link in the video below and uh, yeah, talk to you soon, bye-bye.